Hey everybody, it's Jeff and this is a quick recap of what I uh, was working on this morning in the unscheduled workbench project um, that is a Go project to interactively, um, I guess, interact with uh, objects uh, in, in a Go system and what how that will make sense and will be used will kind of become obvious uh, later on but basically I need to make a little web UI to kind of act like an inspector on objects uh, in Go which seemed like it was pretty doable with Go's reflection um, so I spent a lot of time I originally thought I'd do this as like a web app and um, that leaves a lot of decisions in terms of oh do I want to use React and you know how crazy do I want to get with UI and um, you know I've I've been interested in using uh, VS Code um, their approach to to building stuff and so I decided to kind of ignore all of that and build a terminal based GUI um, and the idea was that it, it kind of eliminates a lot of the um, aesthetic and structural decisions because you have you know so much less fidelity so I looked at some go libraries for doing um, uh, user interfaces uh, text user interfaces in go and um, T cell has been around uh, for a while and I think eventually I came across T view um, which had a bunch of interactive like basically pre-made um, components and that was a little bit more what I wanted to work with so uh, I got started with it and I almost gave up with it because I was it's not the best library and uh, you know there's definitely it doesn't have mouse support and you know all this stuff but I decided I kept going I, I figured out all my problems um, I've got this little uh, program here that I can show you. It gives you two panels and on the left would be a list of objects um, that you can kind of go over and then on the right is the inspector. Um, and so these are made up of um, these objects that I made up here and so you can imagine eventually that these can just do some reflection on some existing objects and, and produce something um, eventually there would be buttons for methods and that sort of thing. Um, the problem that I ran into uh, and got quite frustrated with um, is the fact that I can't actually enter any data here. I'm getting an unaddressable value. Um, you can see what I'm doing here is when I create a new field I pass in a new a value which is just some literal and originally I just stored it in a, a, a reflection value on the field, but I, uh, trying to figure this out, I decided to store the value and then also store the reflection uh, uh, value uh, for that value. I'm not sure if that's necessary because ultimately the problem is, is that when I come down to actually um, changing the text, um, I try and set that value with uh, you know set string and it comes back with this using an unaddressable value and I tried all kinds of stuff I'm thinking okay maybe I need to you know because it's not a pointer and so I'll store a reference to it and then that didn't work and so I'm trying all these things and I can't quite figure it out if anybody wants to try and help me figure out what's going on here um, that'd be cool and help me move forward so that's pretty much it um, I spent over two hours uh, on this um, tried different alternatives, thought that I couldn't use the uh, built-in form, tried building my own form, realized that that was ridiculous and that using any other library would probably be too much work. So I kind of made this one work and uh, it's going okay now that I have some experience with it. So that's it. Um, that's, uh, I'll probably be coming back to this uh, maybe later this week or next week, um, but it'll all convene with some of the other projects eventually. Alright, that's it. See you guys later.